Alright, what's good everyone? Raging Yoshi here with another episode of Let's Play Persona 3 FES The Answer. So, off camera, we did quite a bit of level grinding. These are the levels of our current party. Anyone who was outside of this party did not get any levels added to them. We've gotten some new personas, including... I thought I equipped you. Our Odin is going to be our now currently equipped persona coming up to this next fight. And... We're kind of at a point where we really need to cross our fingers and hope for the best with this one. This is going to be a tough battle, but let's hope for the best. Let's proceed. Don't chase that figure. We'll need it in the deepest part of this place. We're getting close. Let's keep moving forward. Enemy shadows incoming. All right. So we have the Onin Musha, the Kaiden Musha, and the Tenjin Musha. So we're going to start by scanning the Tenjin Musha. And... We're just going to, right off the bat, just... Just thund thundering this guy immediately. I probably should have actually set up my party. I didn't think about it. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be focus firing this Tenjin Musha. Alright, Junpei's doing some work now. Oh! Oh my goodness. This is already going really well. <laughs> wow. Alright, so we're going to scan our second Musha. We're going to set Yukari to heal support. Junpei, we're going to assign target Tenjin Musha. Mitsuru, we're going to assign target Tenjin Musha. We're going to Thunder Rain the Tenjin Musha. And now we're going to hope our party just wrecks them completely. I uh, probably should have put up a defensive buff on the team, thinking about it. Makarakarn, that protects from magic spells. Okay. I thought we might have been about to get crit there. So, my Odin has Medea Rahan for some ungodly reason. When I fused it, I just got this ability which makes my Odin kinda busted. I should have probably scanned that third enemy, but it, I don't think it was that important. Good, Yukari throwing the Dispoison on the Junpei. This is why we're focusing this Tenjin Musa. Oh, Mahamon, did. Hey, Junpei's down. That's. Of course not good. Um, I'm poisoned, which is bad. They're not really doing that much damage to me. So what I can do is I can just poison myself here. I just poison myself here. Yukari brings back Junpei with her Samara Karam. Hopefully Mitsuru hits that one guy. Yeah. We probably break the Junpei. Crit rates are starting to get reverted, but this guy's killing it. It's bad. It's only bad because it's going to make him harder to kill. Mamadun, of course. And Junpei goes down. Okay. Well, actually. He did... Yeah, they're gonna reflect back onto me. But that's fine, I'm actually okay with that. 
because it'll heal me. Because Odin absorbs thunder. Oh, this opens material up for a bit more offense. Kari brings Junpei back. Only person we really have to worry about dying. Oh no, those things have darkness and light. Kill, uh, just kill spells, which is annoying. It doing that's fine because I can cl just clear it with Odin. Kari's getting hit a little bit there. Oh my god, Kari got more than just hit a little bit. Um, we're going to Mizudine again to clear these off. And Mitsuru might actually kill that first one. Nope, not quite. Junpei? Yeah, Junpei will finish it. Good, good, good. No, hey, Yukari? She. Oh, she's one level short of Medea Rahan, isn't she? Yeah, but Yukari's gonna be dead this round then. Maybe not? Okay. Okay, he's power charged. Okay. So, what I actually want to do here is, where's an attack mirror? We're going to throw an attack mirror up, just to buy us a turn, give Yukari probably a chance to get herself together. These things seem to only have single target physical spells, so because of that, I'm actually not too worried. There we go. Good. Smack yourself. Okay, Mitsuru gets raggedy wrecked. Holy crap. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Okay, um let's see. How do I want to handle this now? Cause the first guy's down. Blah blah blah. Let's see. Scan him. I'll scan the target. Thunder Rain. Kaiden Musha, Thunder Rain. Okay. I think at this point, Junpei is just gonna focus that guy, and I should be able to just focus my Thunder Rains on the Kaiden Musha. Okay! This is going fine. This is actually going completely fine. I'm completely okay with how this is turning out right now. That one attack me has actually done a lot so far, which is really good. The first Musha we took on was definitely, definitely needed to be taken out first, though. Pick out Kaido Musha again. Okay, going well. Don't let your guard down. This last guy, I want to say he drains off magic. So let's just smack him. Especially if he drains off if he, if he drains off magic, I don't want to hit him with any spell. Because my Odin's going to just do so much quote unquote damage that he's going to just heal massively. I'm pretty sure Mitsuru and Junpo, Junpei have been like breaking him. Yo, he's one shotting Mitsuru. Um, I'll just let Yukari handle it. Junpei might be able to just hit him with something that kills him. Or Yukari could just finish it off and Mitsuru loses out on all the experience. That was supposed to be a lot harder than it was. I'm a little saddened by that. But we got through that very quickly.
Something's about to happen to Heat Wave. Sure, I don't use physical skills on... That's actually pretty nice. Odin got a level up, that's nice. Really didn't need Odin to level up. <laughs> Alright, Mysterious Beak. So let's see what we have here. We got Dosoma. And five bombs of life, that's pretty damn useful. So, I'm gonna go and save. While I go and save, I'm actually gonna talk about something really quickly. So, as I've been going through this game, with all the level grinding I've been having to do, Jesus, look at all these doors. With all this level grinding I've been having to do, I actually have taken the time, well, I haven't taken the time, I've collected a shit ton of the gemstones. So, I have used as many as I possibly could to just buy as much as I could in the shops. What I... No. What I actually ended up doing is using the one shop to buy a card to upgrade the stats of my personas. Which, I kind of sort of dumped all those cards I got into my Odin. Which is why my Odin actually has a magic stat of over 80. So, it's a little obnoxious. But you know what? I'm not really gonna complain. But now we have to keep moving. So let's go. So hopefully this should be the end. Now let's just head back, head all the way down to the last floor. As a point, story and cutscene wise, I know nothing of what's coming in this game. Maybe that was the wrong way. See, what I... See, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, but I have used a guide to help me get through this. Ah, uh, okay. What was I saying? Um... Essentially... Oh god, my train of thought is nowhere to be seen. Oh, we caught that. That's actually really good. Okay, essentially, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that I am using a guide to help me get through this because this is very difficult. I've been told by everyone who's ever played through this that there's no shame in using a guide to get through this because this can be, the answer specifically can be very brutal. So, that being said, the guide I'm using is spoiler free, meaning it tells you how to deal with bosses, it tells you how to fight fights, but it won't tell you anything about the story. Which is good, I like that, because it makes this a lot more enjoyable, I don't know what's coming up next, like, there are frequent moments where I'll read ahead in the guide to see what I need to prepare myself for, and I learn nothing about the story. Oop. Wow, that was close. That's annoying. You can try to get through. Nope. You failed. I think- I wonder if these are the same enemies I've been fighting. If they are, I'm just gonna run. These are the same enemies I've been fighting. We out. To be fair, even if these weren't, I probably would've still ran. <laughs> but... So... Even though I'm using the guide to come up with my strategies for the bosses long before encountering them, and note, I'm impressed that I've been managing to get through as many of these without dying as possible, because these are in fact first takes. Like, sometimes if I'm not sure, or at least back in the beginning, I would test the boss fight out before I actually recorded myself trying it. But I haven't done that in so long just because I've had like such a confidence boost because of how well these have been going. But that is beside the point. My point more so is that I, I really don't know what we have coming next. You know, Fuka, that was very well timed. I wonder what's in store. Everything will be revealed soon, but the closer we get to that, the more nervous I am. I feel like this won't end so easily. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying such things when we're almost there. 
Even if something does happen, I think we'll be okay. Thanks for all your hard work, I guess. You've become an amazing leader. Duh. But, see, that's why I, see, that's why I, I, I just love Fuka. Such a good character. This game is so, this series is so good at creating really good characters. It makes me really happy. Let's see, where do we go? Like, I'm not gonna lie, from playing through the answer, I actually got gained a great appreciation for Mitsuru. Oh, more enemies than usual, great. See, it's like a coin flip, whether it means actual more enemies, or if it means just all gold shadows. For a chest. Eternal plate. Now we slip past. Slip past again. Run for our lives. Oof. Ah, dang it. We were slipping past so many of the enemies. We were doing so good. Oh, uh, nope. We're not dealing with you. We're not dealing with, I'm just not dealing with any of these enemies because I don't see the reason to. Okay, I don't think this is good for I guess. Yeah, none of this can go on I guess. You know what? I want to show something all while I'm sitting here thinking about it. So, if you look at what Mitsuru is wearing, she's wearing a spiked bra. Okay, the eternal plate is infinitely better than the spiked bra. So we're going to exit out. We get we're gonna give her back the eternal plate. But I just want to show her reaction to being given the spiked bra. Oh. Mr. You're just absolutely the best. Mr. like what I never disliked Mitsuru, but I wasn't like her biggest fan. It was like, I was neutral towards her. I thought she was a cool character, but in many respects, I was a, slightly indifferent towards her. This this game, the, the answer, has made me just like Mitsuru as a character so much more. Please don't infuriate, I guess. And of course, who's the only one who gets infuriated? Please, Yukari. Because if he hits, I guess I die. Okay, we're just gonna put our controller down and hope for the best. Because this is completely out of our control at this point. Yeah, they're, they're breaking his resistances, of course. I am enraged, so I attack him twice. With my great mischance, but my increased damage. Okay, on the bright side, he's not attacking Igis. Because if he attacks Igis, he's probably going to destroy her in one hit. <sighs> Being enraged sucks. I'm watching this and just... Okay, thank you. At this point... You drain everything, but... Oh yeah, that's right, they turned those couple things off, didn't they? Oh, heavy pierce damage. Hell yeah. Let's go. Well, maybe we can just kill this guy real quick. 171. Okay, this thing's almost dead. Uh, we'll just normal attack it. No shadows detected. The battle's over. Uh, I guess we'll take the experience card. T 
10,000 ex- What? That's not okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Ta -da -da -da, I'm the man. <sighs> okay. And we'll turn here. Okay, yeah, this is the stairs. Wow, we were one floor away too. So let's sit let's save and see what's next for us. Oh boy, this could be really scary. Alright, let's go. The last dead end is down there. Are you ready? God, Fuka, why'd you have to say that? 